I can never ever bring myself to stomach people saying to me the Catholics are our brothers and sisters let me tell you these merry worshipping statue idolising Pope loving group of people never have been never were and never will be my brother and sister you see they know the truth they know the truth about their evil organisation they know the truth about their evil Pope they know the truth about their evil priests yet they still continue to worship they know that the mass is a lie and is sending people to hell and they know that the worship of dead saints is evil and wrong but it's not them that I particularly want to talk about today I want to bring a message today on the sons of Satan themselves the Jesuit priests the Jesuit priesthood is without doubt the most demonic the most evil the most antichrist of all secret society the world has ever known Church, they have one plan and that is world domination. They have always been and always will be the ones behind a new world order. They were first conceived by their founder, one of the most evil, despicable men of all time that the Catholic Church worship and call him Saint Ignatius of Loyola. He was born around about the same time as Martin Luther and in the end, His sole purpose in life was to bring around an answer to the reformation that Luther brought in when Luther seen the the release of millions and millions of Christians from the strongholds of Catholic Church. The Catholic Church was almost dead when Luther brought forth his 95 Theses. The Jesuits are known for their evil and for their perverse philosophies. They believe they and they alone can lie, can steal, can break the Ten Commandments of God and get away with it because they are God's mouthpiece on the earth. Evil in the world today, church, is not by accident, but is actually by design. It was Napoleon that said the Jesuits were determined to control the world under the authority of their master, the Pope, a.k.a. the Antichrist. It was the Marquis of Lapiette who fought alongside George Washington in the revolution that said of the Jesuits, and I quote, It is my opinion if the liberties of this country are destroyed, it will be by the subtleties of the Roman Catholic Church through the Jesuit priests. For they are the most crafty, dangerous enemy to civil and religious liberty They have been responsible for nearly all the wars of Europe. They have one goal, to bring in Roman Catholicism with the Pope as world ruler. Let me make this very clear. The Pope fits all the biblical doctrines and requirements for the Antichrist. No other man ever has or ever will fit these requirements like he does. He's got the job. The job's his. It's because we don't read our Bible anymore that we don't understand that. We Protestants have dropped the ball. It's only a hundred years ago before iPhones, before Xboxes, before television, the Bible-believing Protestants knew how evil the Catholic Church was and the Pope and the Jesuits really were. They knew because they read their Bible. They knew that the papacy was the biblical and historical antichrist. But now you've got a you've got a heap of Joel Osteen, Benny Hinn, Kenneth Copeland loving people that say, "Oh, the Catholics are our brothers and sisters. We need to unite with them." Well, you can unite with them, but I ain't going near them. The Jesuits were created and founded founded to counter Lutherans uh, Luther's Reformation in 1540. You see, Luther had woken the world up to this demonic, satanic antichrist religion and people were leaving in the droves people today unlike then don't know what a Jesuit is and what their goals are and their goals are to destroy Protestantism 
and make the world Catholic. They want the Baptists gone, they want the Church of England gone, they want the Presbyterians gone, they want the Pentecostals gone and dead, or changed over to Catholicism. And they believe the time is right now. Right as you're listening to this, church, this is the time that they're ready. That's why for the first time ever, in 500 years since, uh, since the Jesuits have been going, last year a Jesuit priest, Pope Francis, was installed as Pope. This Pope Francis wants to rule from Jerusalem well, where God will rule from. That's his plan. That's his hope. That's what Satan has always wanted. Satan has always wanted Jerusalem. The Protestants knew this once. So that's why they preached it. They knew the Catholic Church was the synagogue of Satan and they knew also, church, that the Antichrist was the Pope and still is today. Up until late 19th century, this was preached from every Protestant pulpit. But you don't hear it anymore. All you hear is, we must love each other. The Jesuits will stop at nothing to wipe out the Protestants. He has sworn loyalty not to God, not to king, not to country, but the Jesuit has sworn loyalty to the Pope and the Pope alone. When Luther started the Protestant Reformation in the 15th century, the Pope was finished. No king would listen to him, but now there is papal, papal revival because the Protestants have dropped the ball. The Pope claims to be the Vicar of Christ or God's mouthpiece on earth. You see, communism was a Jesuit invention. Marx and Stalin and Lenin were all trained and educated by the Jesuits. Somewhere along the line, we have to study Luther and the Reformation and exactly what was revealed to us 400 years ago about the Catholic Empire. Somewhere along the line, we have to get out of the nice, pretty sermons and start understanding what the heck is going on in this world. The Pope is not our friend. He, like all his predecessors, want to kill all Protestant Christians that reject him as God on earth. The Jesuits perfected the communist system. It's their baby. They placed it in Russia through the Bolshevik Revolution. It's the Jesuits that rose Hitler and Nazis to power. It's the Jesuits that killed six million Jews through their authority through Hitler. Because they were anti-Catholic. The Jews stood in the way of the Jesuits. It's the Jesuits that brought in replacement theology that says the Jews rejected Jesus. Therefore, the Holy Roman Empire is the one true church. The Second World War was all about destroying Protestant Germany, Orthodox Russia and the Jewish religion. You see, East Germany was predominantly Protestant and West Germany was predominantly Catholic. All of Hitler's hierarchy were Roman Catholic. I suggest you do the research all wars are Jesuit inspired. Don't think that any war starts without the okay of the Jesuits. When the Jesuit priest is in, 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 inducted into this demonic cult, they are brought in as soldiers, as mercenaries. He is brought before his superior who gives him a dagger to hold to his heart and he repeats the word, Aestum neca regas impodius, which means it is just to exterminate or annihilate impious or heretical kings. So straight away they are taught that it's okay to kill. This is also sworn in front of skull and bones and a small black crucifix. They are then commanded by the superiors to infiltrate the Christian church and preach from their pulpits. I wonder how many Jesuit priests undercover and they are preaching in the pulpits under the guise of being Christians, pastors, to gather information for their Pope. The Jesuits have full permission from the Pope to lie, to deceive, to murder and to pillage all in the name of pushing the Pope, the Antichrist, into world leadership. According to them, the end justifies the means. 
if people only knew the truth about the Jesuits, which they did a hundred years ago, then the Catholic Church would fold. That's why it's so hush-hush. That's why it's so secret. The Jesuit priesthood is a group of devils that should be brought to justice for crimes against humanity. The Jesuits swear on oath to be servants unto the Pope, even unto death. Their own affirmations state that they must draw blood from the heretics, otherwise they can't be saved. Really? Really? Unless they draw blood from the heretics, whoever doesn't believe in the Catholic Church, they won't be saved? Really? I thought we were saved by the blood of Jesus. Let me tell you the Jesuit oath from their own oath book. Let me tell you this. Have a listen to this, church. And I quote, I name inserted in the presence of Almighty God, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Blessed Archangel Michael, the Blessed St. John the Baptist, and Holy Apostles St. Peter and Paul, all the saints and sacred hosts of heaven, and to you, my ghostly father, their superior general. They're talking about the dead scumbag of Loyola, Ignatius. How, how, can, can you believe for one minute that they would pray to dead people? Let me let me continue. Founded by Ignatius Loyola in the Pontiff of Paul the Third, and continued to the presence, do swear that His Holiness the Pope is Christ. Really, the Pope is Christ on earth, and in His only true representative on earth. The Pope is the only true representative, really? And that by the keys of binding and loosening, giving to his holiness by Jesus Christ, he has been given power to dispose heretical kings, princes, states, commonwealth, governments, and all being illegal without his confirmation that they may be destroyed. So in other words, they are given 007 James Bond status, these Jesuit priests, license to kill. These people are psychotically and mentally ill and at the moment they rule the world through the Illuminati, the government, the New World Order. Don't believe me? In Australia, my own home country, they've taken over. Our new Prime Minister is Jesuit trained. Our Treasurer is Jesuit trained. Our third in line is Jesuit trained. Check out your own country. Do the research. Find out how many are in the government. Jesuits are strategically planned, placed in high office. Don't think for one minute this Jesuit movement aren't capable, capable aren't ready aren't able for world domination. This has been in the planning, my friends, for 500 years. They plan to take over the world, both politically and religiously. So just going back to what we mentioned before, there has been some 260 popes come and go, but never once was a Jesuit raised to this office until now. Let me make this very clear. These Jesuits, these sons of Satan, are the military arm of the Vatican. They are the SS of the Pope. It was on their standards and their ethos that the Hitler's SS got their laws and their ways. Church, I am not preaching this just to fill in time. I am here to warn you, these Gestapo of Rome have a plan and that plan is for world domination. It's always been their plan. The Jesuits are the most powerful group within the Roman Catholic system. They are the Pope's Gestapo. The priority of the Jesuits is to put an end to Protestantism, to the Assembly of God Church, to the Presbyterian Church, to the Baptist Church, to the Churches of England. It is they that are in charge of Rome's ecumenical movement, hence bringing in a one world church to be headed up by the Pope. That's why we see Protestant leaders, or should I say traitors, like Kenneth Copeland, Benny Hinn, Joel Osteen, to name a few, in meetings with the Antichrist. Or, or do I, did I say Antichrist? I mean the Pope. Same thing. If these sellouts, these traitors, will be charged with anything on Judgment Day, it will be treason. 
The greatest spy ring in Europe is not MI6, it's not the CIA, but it's the Jesuits. But don't think it's for one minute, it's just Pentecostal leaders lining up to slap a kiss on the Pope's slippers. Many mainline churches, including Baptists, Episcopalians, Methodists, Presbyterians, have had meetings with His Holiness, unholiness, should I say, the Antichrist, the Pope. Now, if you ever ask a Jesuit or your local priest if anything I'm saying here is true, they will deny it. You see, they have full papal authority to lie to protect the Jesuit order. Let's have a look at some of their history. In 1773, Pope Clement disbanded the Jesuit order. He got rid of them because of its evil. Pope Clement was murdered a few days later. Before 1869, 17 country, sorry, 70 countries had expelled the Jesuits because of the filthy, demonic, low-life scumbags they were. Let me tell you, part of the oath a Jesuit priest must swear when placed into position as commander. Let me share this with you, what his oath, just a little part of his oath, Oath says, of all the secret societies, this is the most disgusting, the most demonic, the most satanic, the most evil of all oaths. And I quote, listen to me here, this is what they promise to their Pope. And I quote, I furthermore promise and declare that I will, when opportunity is present, make and wage relentless war, secretly or openly, against all heretics, Protestants, that's you, my friend, and liberals, as I am directed to, to experimentate and to exterminate them from the face of the whole earth and that I will spare neither age, sex or condition, and that I will hang, waste, boil, flay, strangle and bury alive these infamous heretics. I will rip up their stomachs and wombs of their women and crush their infants' heads against the walls. Now that sounds very Christian to me. Is that your brothers and sisters that you call in the Catholic Church? This is their leaders. Let me continue. In order to annihilate forever their excrupable race that when the same cannot be done openly, I will secretly use the poison cup, the strangulation cord, the steel of the poignard or the laden bullet regardless of the honour, rank, dignity, authority of person, of the person or persons. Whatever be their position in life, either public or private, as I at any time may do, be directed to do by any agent of the Pope or superior of the Brotherhood of the Holy Faith of the Jesuits, end quote. That is the most disgusting, low-life scumbag thing anyone could could give an oath to. Church, these murderers, these parasites, these child molesters, these sons of Satan have one plan and one plan only and that is world domination. With their head, the Antichrist himself, the Pope as world ruler. Please don't say to me that these Catholics are our brothers and sisters in Christ. The Catholic Church has blinded and misled billions of their followers for nearly 2,000 years now. But every Catholic knows the truth deep down. Romans 2.15 tells us that even if they didn't read their Bible, the truth is written on their hearts. Church, the more that you believe these Catholics don't need saving and that they're our brothers and sisters while they worship Mary and idols and believe that their priests are Alto Christos, as they call themselves, which means another Christ, then the closer you are to joining them in a one world church. The Catholics, the Jesuits, the priests, the Pope never was and never will be my brothers and sisters. They are heading straight to a devil's hell unless they repent. If you do anything with your Catholic brothers and sisters so called today, I suggest you pray for their salvation and to get them out of the house of hell. <laughs>